Hey there guys, it's Quaddy Afro. Welcome to um, the second ever video of Mini Metro on my channel. I'm sorry that there hasn't actually been any more coverage of this game on this channel. I did like one episode and I just kind of halted it since October, but uh, I have been kind of on and off doing it on my Twitch stream, so I haven't like totally forgotten this game, but it's just I haven't been really doing it too much on YouTube. But I hopefully would want to, you know, do a bit more episodes on it. It it, it still needs some love. The, obviously, the different maps. They've obviously now recently also just released a new game mode, uh, Rush Hour, which is also good, which we're going to actually look into in this video. Also, one thing to note that I've actually am um, starting to record with my mouse cursor. I've just I've, I've kind of noticed only recently that most of my videos do not have my mouse cursor in it. Uh, and especially for this game, when I looked at the first episode, it just looked weird where I was just doing stuff and people couldn't even see what, what, what I was doing. They were just like, looking at lines being created. So in this uh, episode, I do have my mouse and um, I have my mouse in most stuff uh, and in stuff that I don't need, I won't have it because it's just annoying when you have it just flow floating around for no reason. Anyway, um, shoutouts for this video go to Fraser Limb and Minor Rush Gaming, or Minor Rush, Minor Rush Gaming, or Minor Rush, gave me two names. Um, so yeah, Fraser Limb and Minor Rush Gaming, their links and stuff will be down below, show them some love, those are the shoutouts. So, uh, if we go into the change log, you know, they like to keep us updated. They have like a cool Trello page, which is really nice. You know, obviously they have the DBC community and the Steam community as well to keep up to date of what they're doing. Uh, still, the major issues is that there's no audio, so I put like backing track behind on the video just to, you know, give it some atmosphere. Or if it wasn't, then there would just be nothing. Uh, Colorbone palette, blah, 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 just kind of same stuff. They've obviously added the new rush hour mode, fixed that a bit. Memory usage has been approved. Station mutations are longer removed, uh, only. Um, and the station of one type. Uh, multiple simultaneous upgrades are handled more elegantly, fixed access to rush hour. So stuff to do with rush hour as they've added it as the new kind of game mode. So I was thinking we could um, actually do rush hour mode because I think I did commuter. Scenic is just the one that keeps going on forever technically so there's no real point of doing it in a video. It's more of like a cool one to do like on stream or whatever. I have also have it on, um, I also have the uh, theme on night mode so it, you know I'll do like alternate kind of themes on each video. I'll do a day one and then a night one. So rush hour. We have, uh, I've already done London. I think I will go on to Paris, I think. I've tried, uh, I haven't tried everything. I've tried, uh, I think I've tried Sao Paulo. Why am I moving? Why, why am I actually using the, um, actually, I will use my keyboard. It's much easier to, um, oh, actually, I can click as well. But I'll use my keyboard. It's cooler to move around. Anyway, uh, I've tried Osaka. Osaka, Osaka is very, very hard. Like, I mean, I think Osaka is probably one of the hardest maps. St. Petersburg, I've tried. Montreal, I haven't. Sao Paulo, I have. Cairo, I haven't. Auckland, I think I have. And uh, New York, I have. I don't know if I have Paris, I think maybe once or whatever, but let's do Paris. We'll go through like the orders and stuff in the video, whatever. If you guys want me to do and do it on each map and like if you want me to do it on commuter or rush hour, just tell me. But I'm I've been told like rush hour is very hectic, so um don't expect anything. I'm going in this with a fresh kind of slate. I'm not really you know, I haven't really practiced up uh, I haven't practiced up to this point. Uh, but um, you know, I, I think it can I can do well. So let's try Paris. Let's do Paris. So apparently, already um, you start in. It does it pretty quickly uh, with passengers or whatever. So how many lines are we having? We have three lines, uh, three locos. Very good. Um, yeah, we're gonna obviously connect a line uh, that starts off uh, connecting to all three shapes. Uh, to make it kind of unison and just, uh, but oh, also, uh, this is kind of new, I didn't even know about this, is uh, the stations fade in at a time, that is really nice. I'm actually thinking of doing a uh, a line again, how many tunnels do we have with three, that is not too bad, but I'm going to have to start doing something here. This is a bit not good in, in, my, in my opinion. In my opinion, I do not like this. We're using two tunnels here. I actually might shorten this and actually extend the blue line up here to the triangle. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. If it will do that for me. No, it won't. Okay, wait. Why can't I detach it? <laughs> okay. That's that's weird. That's really weird. I can't. Is it once you place it, you can't detach it anymore? That's really, really odd. I, I, I've not... Can I... Oh, okay. So, apparently, I cannot detach it. Maybe in this mode that you, you can't actually... Once you put a line, you can't really fix it. Uh, I mean, uh, edit it or whatever. Okay, that's going to be rather interesting, I'm going to have to say. Uh, I'm going to, so far, I'm going to put a lot, another line here across the river to kind of ease uh, stuff in. I'm going to extend the orange line there. That is really interesting. I didn't know. Yeah, you can't, you can't, or maybe I'm doing it wrong, but no. Oh, and, and, and stops get added along the way, which is pretty interesting. Ah, I really didn't know that. I want to see... I don't know if it's for this mode. Someone tell me in the comments below. I, I don't know how you, how do you um, re, reposition like a line? How do you cancel it from a station? Because I, normally you would just click the end and then kind of pull it away from, the, uh, not pull it away, go through the station and then pull it to another place. But we're going to take the locomotive, obviously. Uh, we have three lines right now. Uh, let's. I am going to go with an extra line. I think I should have gone carriage, but I I don't know. I'd rather have a line, to be honest. Uh, and also, one thing in the first video I didn't tend to do is I, I can pause. Actually, can you pause this game? Is this also something? I think this is different for for the scenic route. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm almost saying scenic. I think for the rush hour, it's, it feels different because I, I swear there was a pause button. So well, there was a pause button. I don't know. Uh, things might have obviously changed. Right, so what we have, we have a start forming here. Uh, everything so far is alright. Nothing too much to worry about. I'm still kind of really puzzled with, um, with that you can't... Yeah, probably this is rush hour mode and I'm just kind of a little loopy on it. Uh, I'm thinking of connecting the start up with a with the yellow line probably oh and that's that should be all right I'm guessing do some little weird kind of curvy line here or something like that and then maybe connect maybe connect that to a triangle so now it literally has all the kind of shapes and then hopefully uh, it connects up to the green, it connects up to the orange and blue, so it's not gonna... Oh, that should be added there. We now need to get, I think, another carriage, and the green line looks, looks a bit stressful because it's having to repeat, like, two circles as well. And two triangles. Like, the most diverse route right now, I would say, is probably the yellow line. It has, yeah, circle, triangle, square, star, and then one more extra triangle, which doesn't hurt because it's a big interchange station here. You can't also speed up time. That's, that's annoying. I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit disappointed. I don't know. Like, maybe this is the mode. I'm, I'm not too sure. I didn't read up what actually uh, rush hour mode is. I'm guessing you don't have a pause button. It's all like, you know, just you do it one decision and you you can't you know stop and think about it. you just have to go for it that's what i'm guessing you can't re you can't redo a line so you can't i, I don't know i don't even if, if you can so i'm just i'm just going with the flow here new locomotive ooh two new tunnels wow i didn't know you can get that as an upgrade uh, i'm ooh i'm going to have to go with two new tunnels mm, i that's a bit hard. I wanted a carriage, to be honest, but two new tunnels would... Mm, right now, I think we're alright. I think we could go with the new line, because 
Yeah, I, f I think we can go with it. I think we're manageable. We have three lines on this side, and we have three li we have three lines on each side, so we can just extend if we want to. Like here, I can right now extend the blue line if I really, really wanted to. And I'm actually thinking uh, the top part here could do with an extra line that goes like, you know, just on the north side of the river. Wouldn't be too shabby, actually. Yeah. To connect up there so it would just go across and cut across that would be good yeah let's let's do it that'll be all right so in a way it's just like all the top uh, terminus stations up here are connected in some sort of way and it kind of distributes um, some passengers so like say passengers want to go to you know triangle or whatever or, or square they don't have to they can now either you know go across here or go down there and they have more options because if um the thing is like with the kind of like network systems the more options you have to get to a place will reduce the kind of capacity for it because uh, if you have only like limited routes to a location uh, that's when the clog uh, the clogging of passengers will begin when you literally passengers like are struggling to get to one place they need options to get to you know a better, better place you know you know what I mean so we're gonna have another oh, there's quite a lot of grouping of circles here really I hate when you have a grouping of the same station I think that is probably the worst thing you can have because that means that you're gonna have to be connecting a lot of duplicate like like that station is going to be circle, then it's going to be circle, then it's going to be another circle, and it's just like that's a waste of um, a space in a way because you really don't want to have a circle. Then you want to have a, a different shape each station. Hopefully, that's the kind of aim. But when you get faced with this kind of dilemma, you you really you can't almost. It's 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 really hard. It, the game just makes you oh come on fade in already. Oh and this one now that's brilliant. Uh, Obviously, we're going to connect the orange line. The orange line's not doing too much. New loco. Two new tunnels or a new line. Uh, I really want a carriage, but... Oh, a new line. Mm, tempting. But I don't see what we're going to do with the... I don't see what we're going to do with tunnels, to be honest. Because, yeah, what are, we going to, what are we actually going to do with tunnels? We're going to... We could extend the blue line onto the other side but we already have three lines here and I don't really see the map expanding too fast to actually have a much of a problem on the south side it'll be probably the north side that's going to have more of the issues um, mm, I'm going to go with the line again the tunnel so far I'm not really feeling is a is a massive thing but I'm seeing here a pattern of triangles. People want to get to a triangle station. I'm, I'm still. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Yeah, once you place it, you can't change it. Okay. Okay, good. That's good. That's changed. That's actually made me think. Maybe now we could. Hmm. Square. Square triangle. Square triangle. Hmm, I don't know if that was wise, but I'm just kind of looking at the pattern here of what people really want to get to, to be honest. But now I need to figure out how how am I going to do this. I need to extend either one of those two, and I think I'm going to for now extend the orange line and maybe make it kind of like a circle line because... I think the uh, the yellow one actually could. I mm, okay, that was a bit maybe of a bit of bit of a mis error, a little bit of a misjudgment there. Maybe I should have. I think I should have um, extended the yellow line up there because then I'm mean, just looking at the size of the yellow line. The yellow line isn't really too long. And now this is where the stupidity kind of came in. It, like I could have extended the orange line here and the yellow line there, but now I can't. You know, I can't redo it I could do that but you oh no you can't do that you can't do a loop like that uh, another circle station that's just that's just what I need right now another circle station um, I'm gonna extend the blue because it doesn't oh 
That's a triangle. What? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna extend the uh, the blue one because the the green one already has enough triangles on it, and I'm probably gonna extend the uh, the green up here. And probably gonna have to extend the green down there as well. So hopefully, once we get some carrot, can I get a car yes, I can get a carriage. Thank you. Finally, uh, we could, you know, as well. Ooh, that's. Uh, um, mm, ex yeah, we could extend that. It needs to go to triangle. I don't know if that was a good decision there, but we're gonna just have to roll with it. I really don't want to put too much pressure on the on the green line. Uh, I I do have a, an extra carriage now, so I can be a little bit more lenient with extending groups. But I think that looks even ugly. I, so the one thing in this game, I really. Uh, I'd like to make it look alright, and those kind of like really awkward sharp angles just don't cut it for me. I just wish it could just curve, but it, maybe it's probably awkward, awkward enough for for it to for it to be like that. Yeah, I, I'm still. Yeah, okay. So yeah, this mode is really interesting. So now you just literally have to go with one decision, and that's pretty much it. Uh, do we have we have a new no we don't have a new line I already used a new line come on something to remember here man uh, we're gonna yeah I think yellow line of course now this actually makes the yellow line a bit more interesting because now it has two special unique stations and it's gonna be very competitive to get onto it and it's not too bad nothing's just, nothing is too bad in this actually. Like, I feel that this game mode's going kind of at a nice pace, but I can see where it would it would start to pick up. I can see where it could start to pick up. Now, this is where it gets kind of interesting now that I don't actually have any tunnels. I'm going to maybe see and try and wait it out for sun Sunday. We're almost at Sunday. Oh, we can pause the game. Okay, the, new, the controls were there. Oh my god, I'm... I'm, I'm revelation here but can we actually no we can't that's that yeah we can't we can't we can't disconnect stations which is brilliant no we can't so yeah we just once we put it down that's it but we can pause that's good that's good to actually know that we can pause because I remember in the first episode I just didn't pause I just went for it and then people were like in the comments you should pause you know you can you can pause you can you can take your time but so far I'm liking what's happening I want to get a tunnel so I can extend this tan line up here but yeah I really don't want to extend the blue all the way down here it's just, it'll, be, it'll be too long let's just continue and see how this goes I just need to get to Sunday hopefully and get a tunnel it will be kind of trolley if it didn't give me a tunnel come on Sunday finish we need we're getting, we need to get lower people from here to the triangle okay locomotive and two tunnels thank you very much that's one tunnel there and that's a very awkward square, that's all I'm going to say. That is a very, very awkward square. And one thing I really don't understand is why you can't have lines crossing each other in this game. That is just something I'm, I'm st I still kind of think that's just really dumb. Because in real life, lines do cross each other. <laughs> but, uh, oh. We're getting a little problem here on the blue line. We're going to have to add a carriage. Oh, no, not a carriage. We're going to have to add a loco because that, that's getting busy there. Okay, uh, that this in itself is just really annoying. Like, uh, I would have extended the yellow line, but that looks kind of nice. Like, there's two terminuses opposite, and then there's, like a, there's a, you know... A, uh, a line going for it. But this is where, this is where, see, right now, I'd want to cut... I would want to stop the light blue line going from this circle and then kind of make a loop around but the thing is I, I, I don't know if there's a way I don't know if they changed it but I can't no I can't yeah it just if once you place it that's it hmm, that's, it makes you it, in a way it makes you have to think a little differently because you're gonna have to do if once you do 
a decision and once you place the stop that's it you can't revert it while like at least in commuter mode you can actually change the lines up you can you know you know make them I'm gonna actually have to add a carriage here to the tan line because I see a little bit of a problem here people here want to be going to you know the squares the, the the crosses and stuff like that so that's gonna be we're gonna relieve the line a little bit but yeah, I can see now how the difference is but in, with this game mode. This game mode actually, you need to actually think like, okay, once I place it, that's it. I, I, I can't, I can't revert it. I can't, you know, edit the line properly. I have to think, okay, maybe then this will result into me having a new line. And I can see here that we're already getting a problem here, which is going to be brilliant. We're going to extend the green line there because that's the only feasible line. I've kind of made a dead end for myself here with the, with these two lines. But, um... I would need to have something up here for the yellow line. I would need to have something here. I'm going to quickly put that there. Oh, new locomotive. Uh, tunnels, mm, not for now, I don't think. It's going to be a problem once we start extending up here because that's going to be an area where maybe things will pop up. Hopefully down here won't be an area that will, in the bottom right. Uh, I'm going to take a carriage for now. This tan line's getting kind of, you know, stressed out. That should be alright. Uh, I'm... F oh, okay, that's interesting. That is interesting. I am i don't know if I should extend the blue line or the... Uh, you know what? I'm going to extend the blue line and I'm going to extend the... So we're going to have two lines being able to kind of take the pressure onto this unique station. Um, okay, light blue line or, or tan, oh god, look at that, that is just, oh, you can't, that is, wow, wow, now that is something I didn't know, you can't, you can't stretch lines to add, to, add them to stations, that is rather interesting, um, that's, definitely something new there I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even lie about that we're gonna have to give the green line an extra coach uh, oof what are we gonna do here um, I think that for now it looks good extend the aqua blue line up there I'm saying aqua that's not aqua that's baby blue Ooh, it's getting a bit, this is now where it's getting a little bit more interesting. We have one more locomotive. I think I'm going to have to give it to the light blue, um, the baby blue line for now. The green line does look pressured, I'm not going to lie. Okay, that is really just an awkward station right there. That is, that is way awkward. And I just, I hate that look. I can't, is it, have, is it a key I have to press or something? No. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's. Uh, I hate this. I hate this mode where you, have to, you just have to. Ugh, it's annoying. Um, <laughs> gonna have to. Br that is just an ugly line. Now the tan line is really ugly. Okay, that should. Uh, the green line should get in time for that. That's fine. But you see, the green line has. Ooh, that, yeah. See now, that's where. I need to give it. A, Okay, thank you, Loco. Uh, tunnels. Mm, I think we can go one more week without a tunnel. Gonna add another Loco to the orange line. Uh, blue line is alright, so I'm. I think I'm gonna extend the blue line up here, not the orange or the blue. Uh, the baby, the baby line is having quite a lot of, you know. It has to go travel quite a long way, so I'm gonna just, yeah. I think uh, I think that's good. Right now, I'm, I'm good. this is part of now the the stage of the game where it, things will get a little loopy and uh, a little crazy. I think because uh, loads of things are happening right now. Even though it feels a little less, uh, it feels a little slower than the uh, than the uh, commuter mode, but. With the commute mode, at least you could, you know, re-edit a line, right? With this, you you go with it, and and that's it. Okay, that's really interesting. Um, so stations can appear within a line already. That is really interesting. I'm not gonna lie, that is that is that is a feature there. Stations just appear on the line. That's a bit annoying. That's a bit like out of your control. It's like, oh yeah, stations just gonna randomly pop up there. 
Okay, that's interesting. We're gonna have to give a carriage here to the orange line because that's that's really annoying how it didn't really pick up anyone from there because obviously there's n there's no station that goes back there. Uh, obviously, we're gonna extend. We're gonna obviously extend the yellow line up here to the circle station once the circle station is available. Uh, okay, that's dying now. That's good. So things are going, things are going peachy right now. Uh, this might not be the best ever, you know, subway map. I'm not gonna, I'm not claiming it is, because it clearly isn't. But it's, it's getting there somehow. Somehow it's working. Things are not overloading massively yet. I definitely know they will. I'm gonna, I definitely have to. Um, I can either take away a carriage here. The yellow line's good. The yellow line is all right. It's 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 good. The green line's all right. Has two trains. Blue line is ooh line that that I probably will have to take. Or should I take tunnels? Because no, I'm gonna have to take another line because ah uh, this is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something around here. I think my goal now would be to make a new line that kind of relieves stress off everything in a way. I'm going to make a line that goes to that goes to like these kind of unique stations. I think that would be the best thing to do. Uh where are these unique stations? We're going to start there. Go there. Uh, yep. There, there, uh, there, there, there. Let's do that for now. That's a really weird line I've made. I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully something. Oh, that's go. Oh, damn, 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 damn. We need to move. We need to move a. You can't move. Oh my god. I didn't know this. You can't move trains. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Yeah, I think I'm done. I think it's... Yep, it's GG. Ah. Okay. So someone was a little bit bad here with this video. I didn't actually read up fully of what this um, rush hour mode is but I kind of get it now but 1,461 passengers isn't massively bad I don't know if, if, if that is uh, I think that's very good in computer commuter I don't know if it's good in rush hour but yeah um, that was pretty good like at least I, I got somewhere I got 60 days 1,461 passengers not too bad I'll take a uh, picture of it and I can use that as a thumb as a thumbnail. I like like you know using the um, the picture function here. It's pretty. It's a pretty cool kind of concept. Uh, let's go into the menu. Uh, I just want to be sure that I actually did play. Did I actually play um, Rush Hour? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I definitely have to. Re I'll, I'll read. I'll, I'll read up of it after this video actually. Okay, where's the where did the menu go? <laughs> okay, there is still some bugs and stuff with this game, but I'm just going to change log. Um Anyway. I think that was a fun little episode. I don't know if it was little, I think it was medium medium moderately long. But uh I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you want me to do any other uh maps, uh tell me in the comments down below if you want me to continue uh, with this series there would definitely be like a video next week when I do a little 7 day video uh, event uh, and tell me would you want me to do it on commuter or do you want me to do it on rush hour scenic is no real point because it's just everlasting so either rush hour or commuter what, which one do you think has the better gameplay obviously rush hour has a bit more if you place it that's it um, you can't change things around you just have to rely on the system that you place down which is a bit more in a way 
more to real life than like commuter where you can literally just edit everything but it's much more fast paced so just tell me in the comments down below what would you want me to do with the series more um, commuter or more rush hour uh, videos or both we can do like a mix one commuter one rush hour on different maps and stuff like that so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode the shout outs for this video goes to Fraser Lim and Minor Rush Gaming uh, that's again Fla Fraser Limb and Minor Rush Gaming. Their links and stuff will be down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini metro uh, video. The link uh, will be down below uh, to the Steam page of it. So if you want to pick it up, it's not that expensive. It's still being worked on. They have a very nice little uh, niche community that, you know, suggests ideas and stuff. I actually think I know one of the developers that watches my stream and uh, my videos of it. And uh, he tells me the game's doing very well. and. Uh, things are getting developed for it, which is really cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this mini retro number two. Hopefully, there will there will be a number three, and hopefully, maybe many more, because um, it's 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 a nice little strategical game. And I don't know if my strategies are good. Um, that's just my way of playing them. I kind of very go with the flow person. So um, I hope this has helped anyone or like entertained anyone uh, for like any kind of strategical purpose or just you know any gameplay kind of purpose. <laughs> But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in another episode or in the next video. So I hope you guys have a lovely day. I'll see you around. We ain't never given up cause we ain't born for that. Gotta catch a fast to do. Fast to do. The ship is cruising its cruise.